All right, this is going to be a video of this 52 inch Hampton Bay brand carriage house two ceiling fan that came from my local Habitat Restore. And I actually got it from the Restore as I am a volunteer there. Pretty much what I do for them is ensure the ceiling fans they receive via donation are more presentable than how they previously came in. For any of those who are wondering, Hampton Bay is actually a Home Depot brand that sells various furnishings for around the house. However, mainly focuses on fans and lighting. To actually make the ceiling fans for them, they chose a variety of manufacturers over different periods of time. This one, just like a lot of the more popular models, was made by King of Fans. Anyways, I'm going to demonstrate it for you guys now, starting out with the light kit. And since it's on a three-way pull chain, I'll start out with the two light option. And I'm using four 6 to equivalent energy saving compact fluorescent bulbs in there, which output a really good amount of light, especially with the clear globes. Again, being a three wheel pull chain, as you can see, pulling it once turned on two lights, pulling it a second time turned on another two. A third pull. We'll turn on all four, and a fourth pull. We'll turn all the lights off. And for the fan itself, I'm going to begin with the high speed. Looking at the white piece of tape I secured to one of the blade brackets for RPM indication, I'd say that high is probably going to spin at about 180 RPM, maybe 175. Although it isn't necessarily the fastest fan, it does push a decent amount of air for a hugger especially after I increase the blade pitch to improve performance. Next, for medium speed, Medium is going to spin down to roughly 145 RPM, possibly 150. I'm not exactly sure how well it comes out on camera, however the fan has an intermittent scraping sound to it. I'll be discussing more about that later on in the video though. And last, however certainly not least, the low speed, which I'll show with the fan and light on simultaneously. And low is probably going to spin at 
about 95 RPM. Anyways, I'll turn the fan off now. And I'm going to be talking about some general information on it. Like I mentioned, the fan does have a scraping sound to it. It is not constant and is intermittent, like I mentioned. My theory is that potentially a piece of debris got caught in the motor. And although unlikely, it isn't impossible for this to happen, especially if the previous owners were doing any kind of drywall uh, renovations or retexturing the ceiling. Another possible theory is that the bearings are starting to give out, and this is probably a more likely one, as the bearings do have some noise to them, even when there's no scraping occurring. The Carriage House 2 was introduced in Canada sometime around 2000, or possibly 2001. The polished brass version was actually not too popular here, unlike in the United States, where it was pretty much the most popular finish for the Carriage House 2. I've seen more white and polished brass versions actually, and recently, um, since the introduction of the gold and bronze version, that one seems to have been a pretty popular seller at Home Depot. And to conclude the video here, I'm going to be discussing the fan's pros and cons, and what I would rank it out of 5 stars, beginning with the pros. Overall, it is a very elegant looking fan, and although I'm a little bit biased, as the Carriage House 2 is a childhood fan for me, even from a non-sentimental perspective, it is rather nice looking, with the unique blade brackets exclusive to the Carriage House, and the two-tone finish, which combines polished brass and satin brass accents. Also, although the globes uh, with hammered glass finish are usually not my favorite, they do complement the fan well, and the pointed blade tips definitely add a level of class to it, as opposed to just the standard um, blade tips, which are just rounded. Also, the fan is quite versatile, as can be installed with or without light kit if you purchase a separate blank switch housing. And the blades are reversible from rosewood, which is currently facing down, to oak, which I'll show once the blades come to a complete stop. As for the cons, the motor is a little bit small on the fan, being only a 153 by 18. I would have really liked to have seen at least a 153 by 20, ideally a 172 by 18, as that would have been a lot more powerful. Also, since uh, this is King of Fans made, the blade brackets are prone to bending over time, and this fan was certainly no exception. As you might notice, the blades are slightly drooping, and like I said, that is caused by the brackets. Thankfully, this really isn't too bad, and actually increases performance by a little bit as it gives an extra distance from the blades to the ceiling. However, I would have really preferred if the blade brackets were of higher quality. Before I finish off the video here, I will show you guys the oak side of the blades. As you can see, there's oak. Personally, I feel that rosewood would have been a much nicer choice, as oak and polished brass really is not my favorite combination. I'd probably have to give the fan 3.5 out of 5 stars, uh, purely based on an objective perspective. However, including sentimental value, I would give it a 4.5, just due to this being a childhood fan from Home Depot catalogs. Although not the most high-end Hampton Bay model, there are certainly worse out there, like the Littleton for example. So guys, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and there's lots more to come.